So early morning, just dropped the boys off at their school and I, as an educator, I just love their school. I love that the teachers that are there are experienced, that they focus on the kids' interests, they focus on play. Uh, it's just an awesome place for our boys to be and every day I drop them off, um, they're just so happy to be there, you know, and I give them hugs and kisses and they just want to play and do what the activities that are set out to do. So it's just awesome school, so great. As an educator, it's like one of those things, right? I want to make sure that my kids have access to the best education because I kind of know what's possible. Headed to my class. Beautiful day. All right, we're headed to dinner at the Flying Goose. Four of you? Yes, please. Two kids and I need to see. Oh, you know. Hey, big win. Did I do the floor? Did I do the floor? Nice dinner party. Okay, foot up. This is spaghetti. Yeah, I don't do one for you. So the inside of yours are really small inside of yours. Mommy. Mm -hmm. What did we just see, you guys? Let me see. How many foxes do we see? Ten. <laughs> I think it's two. Because I have a second. They, they were on their own side of the road. They were? They were, on, they were in two lines. Two lines of foxes? Yeah, yeah they, were, they were following each other. Cool. If they were following each other, that's because they were probably family. Yeah. Do you see them over There's there? There's a skunk in our front porch. Over the steps. You see him? What about Rexy? No, I want to tell go away. Why? Because, because of like, you don't get sprayed. You don't want to get sprayed? No. Is the skunk giving us a problem? Yeah. A couple of final reflections from uh, today's work. One is in my class, we used uh, Chalk Up to do midterm reflections. So I had a rubric that laid out all the learning goals and all the different things that they have to do to get um, an 85% in my class. And then it was awesome. I had I sat down with every kid and I had about five to ten minutes with each kid to kind of go through the rubric. And we had a conversation about each of the learning goals and where they were. And, you know, I took notes and made comments um, for them to have because they're going to do a little paper on a reflection on that. So that was an awesome use of chalk. And another thing. Um, I had a chance to spend time with a, a new faculty member that was looking for a way to do quick and easy video. So I showed him story and he's going to be using that I think on his program, his experiential program off campus which is pretty awesome. And the third thing is I spent some time with the communications and marketing director today and he was really curious about my collaboration with the classroom in Egypt and we spent time kind of brainstorming a, a blog post about using technology to break down the classroom walls and he actually just wrote it and it's published now on Proctor's blog, uh, just proctoracademy.org. Um, just a really great promotion of what we're doing and the value of technology in the classroom. So just three thoughts at the end of the day. And another thing, um, I had a chance to spend time with a, a new faculty member that was looking for a way to do quick and easy video. So I showed him story and he's going to be using that, I think, on his program, his experiential program off campus, which is pretty awesome. A couple of final reflections from uh, today's work. One is in my class, we used uh, Chalk Up to do midterm reflections. So I had a rubric that laid out all the learning goals and all the different things that they have to do to get um, an 85% in my class. And then it was awesome. I had I sat down with every kid and I had about five to ten minutes with each kid to kind of go through the rubric and we had a conversation about each of the learning goals and where they were and you know I took notes and made comments um, for them to have because they're going to do a little paper on a reflection on that so that was an awesome use of chalk